Hello everybody, welcome in Nantes, France, in the private hospital of the Confront. I'm going um, to make a case of uh, bicep stenodesis, a young man of 38 years old who is very painful on his uh, bicepital groove. I want to thank first all my team, Marie, the anesthesiologist and all the staff around me. So uh, this uh, young man um, had uh, many uh, physiotherapy, he had some infiltration and this um, didn't, uh, didn't work well. So uh, as you can see I work in a beach chair position. I put uh, some weight on the arm so he can make uh, the traction uh, on the arm. So I make my drawing so you can see the clavicle, the acrimon and the spine of the scapula. I make uh, the incision in the soft point posteriorly and I try to find the capture. I use a um, normal scope, 30 degrees scope, so I can see the long portion of the biceps, the rotator cuff that seems to be intact and the subscapular tendon. As you can see, I take a needle for the rotator interval. With a viper, I just go inside my joint with a small hole, so uh, the pressure of the fluid still stay in, uh, in the shoulder. As you can see here, just under the long head of the biceps, you have um, some atropathy of the uh, head of the humerus. And if I try to make it lower, um, we can understand that it can be painful because it just hit the, your humerus head. The glenoid is intact and the rest of the, back, uh, of the humeral head is, uh, is intact. So I think uh, in this case, because of the clinic, of the examination, um, it can be very interesting for him to have a biceps stenodesis. I don't do a tenotomy only because I don't want to have a Popeye's syndrome. So I will do this tenodesis um, intratricular. I, um, I will put it on an anchor. I will make a double lasso loop on uh, one wire of the anchor. I use only uh, one stitch uh, because I don't want to have too many knots. Uh, inside uh, the joint and uh, we can make a double lasso loop as you can see in this video uh, with only um, uh, one stitch. As you can see I use a Pacus anchor in peak uh, carbonated peak uh, peak CF. I leave the two stitch for the moment in the anchor. If uh, I make an error, I can have the second one uh, to make the uh, tenodesis. So I just take the first blue one uh, with my uh, magic and I put it inside the joint so it will be easy uh, to take it uh, after I've transfixed the tendon. I transfix the tendon um, 15 millimeters um, proximal uh, to the uh, anchor um, so I can have um, less tension at the end uh, on the long head of the biceps and I'm sure that that can um, uh, be uh, less um, painful um, for the tenodesis because tenodesis can be a bit more painful than tenotomy but we have um, more uh, Pope syndrome so in young people I prefer making tenodesis. So I did my first lasso loop inside the long head of the biceps and I will make a second lasso loop with the same wire. So I take 
um, the wire I uh, took away with the magic and I put it back in the chart. The second one uh, will be around the long head of the biceps. So you will have one stitch inside the, uh, the tendon and one around. So I have to take away a little bit my lasso so I can put the magic in, uh, in the loop. The goal is that the loop um, uh, doesn't. Um, the, the goal is that the loop doesn't uh, slip uh, one on the other one. So you can see now we've got two loops with only the blue stitch. So I can take um, the second one out. I take the two stitch um, in the same portal, so we won't have any muscles on it when I will make the knot. After I will make the tenatomy with uh, the viber, and you can see that uh, there is much, uh, there is less tension on the uh, on the biceps. If I didn't make the tenodesis, I'm sure we would have um, Pope syndrome. As you can see, when I pull on the stitch, it just uh, goes on uh, the anchor, so um, I'm sure that uh, there won't be uh, too much tension because I've put uh, 15, mm 15 millimeters, um, so the biceps will have uh, less uh, tension. So I'm going to do um, the knot on the post uh, that is uh, uh, directly on the anchor and not on the loop. So then, uh, the long head of the biceps will be well fixed. I am looking for any cuff tear and in this case the cuff is intact. As you can see the bicep doesn't move when I make some rotation of the humerus. So now I'm going to shave uh, the distal part of the biceps tendon uh, so it won't um, make in conflict with the uh, uh, cuff. You have to be aware to don't shave uh, the wires. Thank you very much for, this, for watching this video and see you soon. Mm -hmm.